Ma me vana se ma Pen Dream TV. Pen Dream TV dia o se dem yopo. So I don't understand this letter. This is a very very bad letter. An extremely bad letter which should not have been altered at all. You know, and, and there are so many parts of this letter which, which are terrible. The other point that I think is important to make is simply this. Hmm? Look, all of us, three of us on the platform today, I'm sure that all of us will talk about the need for decorum. We shouldn't use bad language and so on and so forth. But ultimately, who determines what is good language and what is bad language? Who? Were you referring to Trevor Noah? Trevor Noah. South Africa. Thank you, yeah. Trevor Noah. You understand? Ultimately, who decides? Right now, as we speak here, yeah, in some of the communities, especially where I grew up, and so on. <laughs> I grew up in a certain community. When you wake up in the morning, what do you hear? I cannot repeat it on the show. Mm. I won't repeat it on the show, but I just will. Well, maybe you can call uh, the MP for Medina. <laughs> what yeah, what yeah, should I call yeah, him? He has apologized. That should I? <laughs> and that's regular, normal language. Mm. Considered decent. Yes. In those communities, that language is decent. Yes, it's yes. normal. It's regular. Yes. Even conversations between mother and child. Mm -hmm. Yes. That language is employed. And yes. so, mm -hmm. you understand? So, whose standards are we trying to meet? Mm. So when the three of us meet on this show, mm -hmm. we will use our standards, standards yeah. which will exclude that early morning language that all of us hear. <laughs> you understand? And all of us do not complain about it. So, but in some communities... Guys, yeah, right? I find something interesting. Yeah. I find something. Yeah. I don't know if you've made the same observation. Uh, you know, yesterday, when we were discussing this issue, I was asking a uh, uh, slide mm -hmm. here, whether... You know, especially the part that deals with the party being concerned about the treatment of his Ashanti regional chairman, who incidentally is also a media owner. I'm proud to become a, becoming a media owner was also somebody who is always out there in the media space. You hear me? Yeah. So I was asking yesterday, that, is it a case that the party does not listen to or watch any other um, station or program in this country because the things that they raise in the letter you know it becomes a bit difficult if you try to reconcile it you know even against some of the people who they are protesting for you, you know yeah then when you watch uh, a plus he makes a point that oh, he makes a point that about ninety percent of their viewers are MPP. That's what he says. Now, so I have not seen the MPP write a letter like this to any media house about a particular program. So could it be the case that the concern really is about the station the audience of the station and the program and the fact that maybe the thing that in recent times uh, the tilt of the discussions will have a devastating um, effect on their fortunes if it doesn't change okay. otherwise otherwise and i don't want to go nitpicky and you know otherwise I would be surprised that they would have this concern. Well, I think that this, this concern is completely groundless. You understand? And Randy, I'm just going to pose a question. Mm -hmm. Today, if you are looking for intemperate language, if you are honestly and objectively looking for intemperate language in Ghana, where do you find it? Uh, is it not in the presidential primaries of the NPP? That's not media house. That's not, I mean, but the oh, point is that. I but mean, is that language not on the media? <laughs> <laughs> the presidential primaries of the MPP, Randy. If you are looking for interpret language in Ghana, would you go to UTV 
or you go to the presidential platform, presidential candidate platform of the NPP. Well, 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 at least the party has issued a statement warning yeah. them. Randy, so they are being consistent. Randy, Master, is it Randy. those who seek equity? Master, with clean hands. Need to come with clean hands. Randy, I'm not seeing clean hands here. Yeah. How many people are contesting can I, for can the I, can presidential primary? Can I can I finish? Primary? Oh, four, isn't it? As we speak. No, now. now. I'm sure Kosi was referring to from so the Even now. Everybody. Yes. Even now. Everybody there, the language? everybody there has a name. They want and to mention want to them. attribute certain things that are being said. No, but it's, like, it's not only the candidates. If you talk about the no. election, I'm not referring to just the four no, candidates. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I mean, everybody. yeah. I, I, so, I, I yeah. agree. But and then that's basically overstretching the. the no, answer. I'm not. I'm not I, overstretching. I Masa, I okay, beg you. Okay, good. I'm not overstretching. Okay. The presidential contest mm -hmm. in the MPP mm -hmm. is a platform erected by the party. Yes. The party has a responsibility to sanitize that platform. Yes. If you find the most intemperate language today on that platform, you cannot be complaining about UTV. Can you? Mm. You cannot. You understand? Let's talk about it. I don't want to get into detail, but if you're going to talk about intemperate language, mm. We know where to find interpret language. On the, on the media landscape, the media houses, on that, programs. That interpret language mm. coming out of the NPP comes mm. on the media platform. Mm. And if I lie, you tell me, and then I will shut up quietly. I will be quiet. Are you suggesting that this letter, the way it is written, mm -hmm. should have gone to some other stations and programs and nowhere no, you have suggested to. that already i'm not going to repeat it but i'm saying that a party that is worried about intemperate language should worry about the language that is used on platforms that is direct okay. and then there's also this this bit about uh, you know respect for the presidency and so on yeah. i have respect for the presidency i do have respect for the presidency even though i i vehemently disagree mm. With some of the things that happen from the presidency and so on. I think it can be said, you know, using temperate language. Okay? But Master, the point ought to be made that respect to any institution and individual must be earned. You don't exact respect, you earn it. You understand? You should earn respect, you don't exact it, it's not by force. No Ghanaian is under obligation to respect anybody. If you behave well, if you do your things well, you earn respect. And that should also be very clear. You understand? Don't let us hide under culture and respect for the elderly and so on in a brazen attempt to destroy the foundations of press freedom in our country. We would not allow that to happen. Yeah, well, I Randy, um, I, I think that even when it comes to the party, the party actually issued a, a code of conduct for presidential aspirants mm. and people who are following them. Now, if for one reason or the other persons have gone uh, contrary to that particular conduct, I think that the party would are deal they with, following you know, the we will deal with it. And when you say that there's interpret language, it presupposes that everybody redeemed that particular uh, even like framework is doing that. I have a candidate that I support. I have been on this your platform for close to 10 years. I don't use intemperate language. What about yeah. some other people who support yeah, but, your yeah, candidate? But those people have names. You see, mm -hmm. in, 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 but, no, but if, even your candidate, it depends on how you determine. You, my candidate has never, found that I, I, there's not a single and they come, of, yeah, there's who no, is going to say that because of my religion vote for me. Oh, come on. No, and, and so, but, uh, no, no, but mm. you see, I, I think What's that you are overstretching the issues. And I don't think that this is you are inviting language? us to mm. now discuss mm. candidates and all of those things. No. no, but the point, but that is the subject. But what is interpreted? That's language? your opinion. You can mm. have an opinion on that. But I'm entitled to have exactly. an opinion. Exactly. But I, I'm also having an opinion right. that that is not No problem. Language. I'm only stating my opinion. Yeah. Your opinion I stated yeah. is not yours. It's mine. Okay, that's fair enough. If I give that opinion <laughs> to you, you can protest. That's fair enough. But it's my opinion that anybody on a presidential campaign talk who is campaigning on the basis of his or her religion is using interpret language. Mm. Language which has the potential of destroying this country. Well, mm. I, 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 All right. I beg to differ, yes. but that's, okay. that's fair enough. Mm. So I, I think that, yes, even when we come back to this whole conversation around what transpired on UTV and everything, mm. it's very clear that 
the party's position is that it's not something that we should countenance. Mm. I mean, you can make your own deductions and. I mean, not pending TV. Now, so far, so good. Say, so, open okay, online portal, a work Ghana. Ah, you can share, you can follow, you can comment here. To my best of knowledge, without any biases, I have pending TV.